Five brand new photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope, plus a recent discovery that sent shockwaves through the space industry, are shown in today's film. So stay tuned to the very end of the video while we dissect this finding. The James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched on December 25, 2021, and has been operating at full capacity since July. Just like the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST is located in orbit around the Earth, allowing it to take photos free from the distortions generated by the Earth's atmosphere. When compared to Hubble's 540-kilometer orbital altitude, the JWST's distance of 1.5 million kilometers places it well beyond the Moon. Its light-gathering capabilities extend well into the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, meaning it can be used to study the entire universe. Thanks to the bigger mirror, cutting-edge detectors and other technological advancements of the JWST, this interference from Earth's reflected heat is eliminated. Thanks to this capability, astronomers may examine the cosmos in its infancy. The JWST photograph of a star at its birth is considered the best of all time. The JWST has shed light on aspects of the dark cloud I-1527 and its protostar that were previously unknown, shedding light on the process of star formation. These fiery clouds in the Taurus star-forming zone are a perfect target for JWST's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, because they can only be seen in infrared light. The hourglass-shaped neck encloses the protostar, and a black line across its center indicates the outer edge of the protoplanetary disk. Above and below the disk, gaps in the surrounding gas and dust are illuminated by the protostar's light. This sample colored infrared image shows cavities produced as materials shoot away from the protostar and collide with the surrounding matter, denoted by the blue and orange clouds. As the protostar expels material away from it, dust layers form between the JWST and the clouds, creating the hues. Webb observed that the cloud's capacity to birth new stars was stunted by the shocks and turbulence caused by the jolted strand of molecular hydrogen. Consequently, the protostar became extremely massive and powerful, absorbing an enormous amount of matter from its surroundings. Despite its disorganized outward look, L1527 is actually only about 100,000 years old. L1527 is an example of what's known as a Class Zero protostar, which is an earlier stage in the process of star formation. These protostars, still entombed in a dense cloud of dust and gas, have a long way to go before they can be termed stars, as determined by their age and brightness in infrared light, as detected by missions like the Infrared Astronomical Satellite. Stars, like L1527, are expected to generate their own power through the nuclear fusion of hydrogen, but this has yet not occurred. Despite its generally spherical appearance, its form is not fixed, looking like a hot, puffy ball of gas with a mass between 2.2 and 40% of that of our Sun. The second most important image is the one that showed the glittering terrain where stars are born. To what do the stars owe their existence? One of the most stunning images ever captured by the James Webb Space Telescope has finally offered the solution. Located close to the Carinae Nebula, NGC 3324 is a young star-forming region that looks like a landscape of mountains and valleys strewn with brilliant stars. These infrared images obtained by NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope reveals regions of star information that were previously hidden from view. The Cosmic Cliffs is an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope and looks like a range of rocky mountains. The highest peaks in this picture are about seven light years above sea level, and they mark the edge of NGC 3324's enormous gaseous void. Cavernous space is apparent because it was carved out of UV radiation and stellar winds from extremely massive, hot young stars at the center of the bubble above the nebula. Dramatic pillars that rise above the incandescent wall of gas are withstanding the radiation produced by the young stars and are slowly tearing away the nebula's wall. Hot ionized gas and hot dust, heated by the nebula's constant radiation, create the appearance of steam rising from these celestial mountains. Additionally, the JWST unveils individual stars and stellar nurseries that were previously concealed from view. 
Due to Webb's infrared sensitivity, it is able to peer through the cosmic dust and detect these particles. Protostellar jets from some of these nascent stars can be seen here. The newest starbursts, shown by the red dots, are located in the black, dusty portion of the cloud. The Pillars of Creation, an iconic image originally obtained by Hubble in 1995 and retaken in 2014, is a pre-existing image that the JWST improved to take the number 3 spot. NASA's experts were caught off guard by the JWST's depiction of the same celestial objects. It's likely that the fingers you are seeing are actually gas and dust filled pillars that surround stars that have developed gradually over eons of time. Mid-infrared light reveals the dusty scene of the pillars of creation, offering us a new perspective on an old landmark. The mid-infrared light captured by Webb's MIRI device has a mysteriously ominous quality. But why is that? Dust and stars that aren't visible at these wavelengths can be easily detected in this scene because it is obscured by interstellar dust and mid-infrared light. Instead, it was suggested by the sharp, shiny edges of these massive, finely hued pillars of gas and dust. Tens of thousands of stars have been made in this area, but most of them seem to have vanished. Why? As many newborn stars have expelled too much dust to be seen in mid-infrared light. Instead, it finds stars that are so young that they still haven't shed their dusty coverings, orbs of a crimson color. In contrast, the blue stars that may be found along the outer edges of the pillars are old and have lost the most of their outer layers of gas and dust. The background gas and dust can be seen in great clarity when viewed in red light. The red part at the top is where the dust is more spread and cooler, making an unnerving V like an owl's outstretched wings. The gray areas below it are where the density of the dust is greatest. Because of the dense cloud of dust and gas in the interstellar medium, background galaxies cannot be seen. To give you an idea of scale, the photographed location is around 6.5 thousand light years away, and it is in the densest part of the Milky Way's disk, such that their distant light can penetrate. The fourth image depicts an effect caused by a unique type of star and its companion, both of which were caught in a celestial gyration. At least 17 circular dust rings are visible in a new photograph from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. When the two stars were sufficiently close, the gas blown into space by the stellar winds collided, causing compression and dust to be created. It is like the rings on a tree. Every 80 years or so, the stars in their orbits will line up again. Be mindful of the passage of time. The dust we see here represents the system's output over the course of more than a century. That the JWST can capture such a faint signal is also shown in the photograph. The number of dust rings has increased from the previous two, which could only be seen by ground-based telescopes, to at least 17. The dust rings in this image are more thicker and wider than they appear in reality, and MIRI is the only instrument with the sensitivity to explore them. The scientific device on JWST was able to detect infrared light, which has wavelengths beyond the range of human vision. Since MIRI is sensitive to longer infrared wavelengths than Webb's other instruments, it can study colder things like dust rings. MIRI's spectrometer also revealed the dust's composition, showing that it was mostly composed of particles released by a certain type of meteor. A wolf, as an O-type star, with at least 25 times the mass of our sun, Riot Star, is on its way to becoming a black hole once it completely collapses. Extremely heated conditions on a wolf riot star cause it to unleash immense winds, propelling huge quantities of gas into space. More than half of the mass of the wolf riot star in this pair may have been lost. This phenomenon contributes to exoplanets' rising profiles. At number 5, we see an image taken by the JWST that reveals hitherto unseen characteristics of our atmosphere. The atmosphere of the exoplanet WASP 39b was the target of JWST's investigation. Another milestone has been passed with the $10 billion telescope. First, a chemical and molecular analysis of a faraway planet. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer space observatories have shown pieces of this hot planet's atmosphere before, but the new JWST provides a full inventory of atoms, molecules, and even clues of active chemistry in clouds. 
The most up-to-date information also shows that these clouds may look like a patchwork quilt from close range. The telescope's sensitive instruments were pointed at the atmosphere of WASP-39b, a hot Jupiter or a planet the size of Saturn that orbits a star 700 years away in a tighter orbit than Mercury's. The results bode well for the ability of JWST's equipment to conduct the wide variety of investigations envisioned by the scientific community, including studying of the atmosphere of smaller rocky planets like those in the TRAPPIST-1 system. The results are significant because they provide the first direct evidence that chemical reactions on exoplanets can be triggered by intense stellar light. Because of this, First-generation scientists began employing computer models of photochemistry to examine evidence that necessitates such physics. Future technical expertise for interpreting potential signals of habitability will benefit from the resulting improvements in modeling. The planet is an excellent laboratory for researching the impacts of stellar radio generation on exoplanets due to its proximity to its host star, which is eight times closer to our Sun than Mercury. Concerning extrasolar planets, Scientists have verified one's existence. First extrasolar planet discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. In terms of diameter, the planet formally designated as LHS 475b is very similar to Earth. Research team leaders Kevin Stevenson and Jacob Jaeger of the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland conducted a thorough analysis of data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite which pointed to the planet's existence. With only two transit observations planned, the group opted to monitor it with Webb. There is no doubt that Webb's near-infrared spectrograph recorded the planet cleanly and without difficulty. Webb's clean data proved it, Jagger added. From the observatory, the fact that it is a small, rocky planet is a bonus. That's what Stevenson thought was important to add. Webb is the only telescope now in operation capable of characterizing the atmospheres of Earth-sized exoplanets by analyzing their transmission spectra. In an effort to decipher its contents, the group set out to do just that. Nevertheless, it appears to be a terrestrial planet of roughly Earth's size. However, scientists are divided about whether or not it actually possesses an atmosphere. Even if it's feasible that the planet has no atmosphere at all, researchers have not ruled out the possibility of other atmospheric compositions, such as a pure carbon dioxide environment. We need far more exact measurements. Webb's initial discovery that the planet's orbit may be completed in less than two days was quickly validated by the scientists. The red dwarf star that LHS 475b orbits is far cooler than the Sun, despite the fact that it has the closest planet to its star. Given this, the scientists think there's a chance it could still have an atmosphere. The group intended to conduct more observations and collect more spectra this summer. Which of the JWST's images is your favorite? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video. Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on the discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope will make. We have another crazy, interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on to another space adventure. See you there.